Well, tonight, neighbors in Mooresville are picking up the pieces after several large trees fell in the area, some on homes, and many there, of course, are without power. And Queen. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is live in Mooresville. And Will, you really right now are on a street called Lost Tree Lane, where trees took out four power poles. Uh, so, Will, people say the severe weather really moved in fast. What can you tell us? Yeah, that's right, Alicia, right here on Lost Tree Lane. And it's, you know, ironic that this is where those trees took out those power poles. And, you know, like you said, it said they said the storm came in fast. It took out the four power poles, but crews have been here for hours working to restore the power here and replace those poles while others are just making the best out of the situation. A lot of wind and it blew a large tree over and took down the power lines. Duke Energy crews responded quickly, but the damage was already done on Lost Tree Lane. Four poles damaged and needed to be replaced before the power could be restored. Kids played in the yard with their dog and Kenneth Pierce turned on the generator. Refrigerator, main thing, and a couple lights, and I have a gas grill I'm cooking on right now. Other trees fell in Mooresville like this one on Cascade Street. No one was home at the time it fell on the home, but the owner says he wants to make sure his tenant has a place to stay and crews can clear all the debris. Pretty bad. It's going to be pretty extensive to move that tree. It's a probably a 100-year-old tree. Yeah, there's a lot of cleanup happening here tonight, and I'm sure that that will go into the morning. Now, those crews are still worth trying to replace that power pole. And like we said, the Duke Energy power outage map shows that there's about 2,000 customers still without power. We hope those lights come on soon. We're live in Mooresville. Will Lewis, Queen City News.